what is up guys welcome back it's been a while it's been a while um i took my hiatus you know i wanted i was i burnt myself out and uh you know i just wanted to play instead of just making content but i just got back from the card fest you know and um i had like four different people telling me yo bring back some content especially masters you know what i'm saying so you know you ask and you shall receive and um i'm back i'm back on masters i mean i've been on i've been playing masters i just you know back on the content of masters and um you know i just took that took a back seat of, er of everything and uh you know uh let's get back into it you know i have other reasons why i stopped i've been going you know been going to the gym a lot <laughs> uh you might not look like it but you know boy lost by like 40 pounds you know already but um this here or there but other than that let's go ahead and get into the content guys um this set this set is fire this, this, this set is fire guys i'm pretty sure every leader is actually pretty good except for goku that red goku i think that deck is like pretty trash but we'll still go over that deck but other than that let's go ahead and get into it guys um everybody knows like the whole set and everything but let's go over let's review each leader you know what i'm saying but let's go over all the cards um of each set of each leader of each art type and all that jazz but let's go ahead and get it let's get back into it guys let's get back into it like we used to do you know what i'm saying let's get in there so we got a vegeto leader we got a vegeto leader and um it's pretty good it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie so on the front side we got sun goku and vegeta 10k leader green obviously you know i got you know i gotta play this leader you know you know got everybody knows i'm a green player but activate main once per turn add up to one green card from your hand to your z energy look at the top five cards of your deck and add any green saying and add it to your hand then shuffle your deck super super good so if you're going first you don't even have, you don't even like lose out on anything because you're just going through the motions you don't have to attack your leader you attack your opponent or anything uh to plus one but the fact that you're able to just add to your Z energy, so that's a positive right there. And then search your deck for any green sand. Could be a SCR, or super combo, or any other um, boss battle card that you actually really need. This card is actually really, really good uh, on the front. But then you have the activate main, add up to one Patora uh, card from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So pretty sure everybody knows right now, it doesn't, it doesn't mean by Patora as the union Patora with, with battle cards with that skill up there, but it means the actual card Patora um, in the deck. So we'll go over that extra card. Oops, excuse me. Uh, we'll go over that card um, later. But when your life is four or less, and you have two more energy and you have a Z unison with specified cost of two in play. We'll go over that card too. That card is fire. Draw one card and add to, add to one of your, switch out to one of your energy to active mode and add this card for your life to you have six. So super, super good leader um, in the front. But in the back, we have Vegito Prodigious Fusion. Uh, permanent, reduce the energy cost of Patora in your hand by three green. So we'll go over that card, like I said. But when this card attacks, draw one card or play up to one Sun Goku or Vegito, both green with energy cost of one for your drop and rest mode. Super, super good, especially if you, uh, if you want to play like some fusion targets, right? But we'll go over that later. But out of a main, choose one green Vegito card. Uh, if it has one or more cards from underneath it, choose all those cards, place them to the drop, and this card gains 10k power for the turn. So potentially, this leader becomes a uh, 25k swing. So that's super good. But then, guys, we have a Z lead. Z awaken. Uh, if you're at uh, three or less life and you have four or more energy, um, only during your turn. Remember, only during your turn because this card would have been broken if it's during your opponent's turn. But only during your turn over a green Vegito card. And that is our leader right here. It costs two Z energy, but that doesn't matter, guys, because we Z energy really, really well in this deck. So when this card is placed in your leader area, draw one card, then remove this card at the end uh, from the game at the end of your turn. So after you, after you, you play this card, this is gone afterwards, you know? Um, out of a battle, once returned, choose up to one of your green Vegito cards and it gains double strike for the battle. So say you're swinging with your leader, I say you activate main and swing with your leader, right? 
um, you got 25k swing, draw a card, or play a, a battle card. Then your opponent says, No negates, no negates, my guy. Go into your Z, uh, Z leader. You're, um, I'm pretty sure you gained that extra 10, so you're potentially a 40k double strike leader uh, towards your opponent, right? So this is super, super good. Um, now let's go ahead and get to the actual like engine, you know what I'm saying? So we have the SS4 Vegito attaining greater power, cost two Z energy. Um, auto when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Doesn't matter the energy, energy cost or anything, just any battle card on your opponent's side of the field, go ahead and KO that card. Um, plus one, uh, activate main, add one card from your uh, from your hand to your Z energy, draw one card. So super, super good. And you're just, um, just adding to your Z energy all the time. Super, super good. Um, a Z unison card for your, for the deck, but um, activate main neck uh, neck two marker switch this card to active mode. So potentially you you can uh, KO two cards with this neck two effect. So um, this Vegito is super uh, super good in in the deck also. But then we have the Patora um, Bill spell. So we get to play this for free because it reduces cost by three green energy. So you play for free with the um, with the leader on awakened side but when this card is placed in the battle area draw one card so super good uh replaces itself so activate main once returning if you have three more energy um and you choose one sun goku and vegeta uh both green with energy cost four or less from among all cards in your zing energy in your battle area place them under this card then you may reveal one vegeta from your hand switch it switch the same number of green energy uh, of that card's uh, specified cost of rest mode, and if you do, play the reveal card on top of this card. So basically, um, this card basically uh, grabs your uh, fusion targets from your Z energy and or battle area, put those two cards from uh, two to underneath the fill spell, and play your Vegito on top of that, right? So that's really, really good. And um, this card is able to be recurred from other cards like this one. So we have the four drop. We have the SSB Sun Goku and Vegeta Realized Premonition of Fusion, 5K combo and 19K power. It has dual attack, so that's really good. Um, activate, activate main, limit one type of green. If your leader is green, Vegito. If you have three more energy, play this card from your hand and add up to one Patora from your drop to your hand. So this card is able to recur your Patora from your drop area. But you can activate main. If your leader is backside is a uh, green Vegito, you can discard this card from your hand. Look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to one Goku or Vegeta that costs four or less, or a Vegito that is seven or less, and add it to your hand. So we have a, a free searcher within a deck that we're able to play, um, well, not play, but um, we're able to recur this uh, with other cards in the deck. Um, pretty sure you're able to grab this to your Z energy. Um, later but other than that because this card is very uh very very good the fact that you're able to grab your patora from your drop area and this is a free searcher uh very very good and then we have your my kind guardian is just a green flavor super combo we're probably not going to be playing this it's not even a saying so yeah we're definitely not going to be playing this card but um let's get into the other cards so let's go over our goku cards these are the one drops that we will be playing the sun goku patora premonition 5k combo 4k power when this card is played choose one card i mean choose one uh draw one card or add up to one patora from your drop to your hand uh, the fact that you're able to grab patoras from your drop super super good um same thing that is potentially draw one card also because uh, you can grab your Patora from the drop, then you can just activate Patora also and draw one card also. So super is good. Um, yeah, it, and you're able to play this card off your leader because you know your leader attacks. So you can play a one drop from your drop area. Um, your two costs, Sun Goku. Everybody's been talking about this because it's not a 20k. Understandable. You know, if you're able to play that Piccolo, that Piccolo. Most people don't know what that Piccolo does, but if you're able to, that Piccolo would have been fire. But we're not playing it. So Bandai knows what they're doing. But yeah, this probably card won't be played because of skillless and yeah, skillless cards are kind of lame right now. Um, uh, we have a four drop uh, SSB Sun Goku God Challenger, 5K combo and 15K power. 
Uh, activate main, uh, tap a green. If your leader is a green Vegito card and you have two or more energy, you get to play this card from your hand. So you just have to be a Vegito. Uh, yeah, let's be, you just have to be awakened, uh, play this card. And when this card is played, draw one card, then add up to one green Vegeta with the energy cost of four or less from your drop to your Z energy with the skills negated for the turn. So say um, the turn I awaken, right? I pitch a, a four drop uh, Son Goku and Vegeta, look at the top seven, grab a Goku or Vegeta. And um, say if I grab this Goku, um, so I have a four drop in my drop area, then I can play this Goku, uh, draw one card, then add that uh, Goku Vegeta card that I pitched and add it to my Z energy, right? Super, super good. And when this card attacks, this card gains 10K power for the battle. So you have a one drop 25K attacker. 25k is super strong, super, super strong. Um, dang, that's really good. 25k attacker, four one in green energy. And uh, yeah, I have no problems with that. But then we have our first super rare. We have Vegito Ultimate Unrivaled Fusion, 5k combo. It's a five drop and a 20k power. Uh, technically, it's going to be a one drop because it has one specified cost in the corner right here. So you're going to use Patora and um, you're going to fuse for one energy or you can fuse with uh, two energy, but I don't know why you would do that. But uh, Union Patora is two energy, draw one card over like Sun Goku and Vegeta. Mm, excuse me, when this card is played, draw, draw one card, then choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So you can KO anything on play. And when this card attacks, use up to one battle card from under this card in a combo with the skills negated for the turn. So you swing, uh, combo a Goku or Vegeta from underneath it. Then since it has dual attack, you're gonna restand again. And um, yeah, you have a 25K dual attacker essentially uh, within the deck also, so that's good. And um, yeah, this card replaces itself because there's so much draw power within the deck. But let's go ahead and get to the v Vegeta cards. But then we have their one drop Vegeta Patora Pre uh, Premonition. Same effect as the Goku version, but it's just, you know, Vegeta. But then we have the skillless Vegeta. We're not going to be playing this at all. But then we have our four drop SSB Vegeta God, Con God Challenger 5k combo, combo with 15k power. Same thing as the Goku. Um, if you have two or more energy, you get to play this card if your leader is Vegito. And when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of four or less and KO it. Then add up to one Goku with energy cost of four or less from your drop area and add it to your Z energy. So instead of Goku drawing, I mean, uh, opposite is Go Goku. Uh, Goku draws, this card pops four drops and less. And when this card attacks, this card gains 10K power for the battle. So you do have another 25K attacker um, with the Vegeta. So this, this card is super, super good also. But then we have the boss card. Everybody's been talking about this card. This card is super, super good. We have a nine drop SSB Vegito, all out super warrior, 5K combo and 35K attack as barrier, triple strike and blocker. And it costs, uh, it's Junior Patora for three green energy. So when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and Norian barrier and KO it. When this card is played, that is very, very strong. Um, been green's been needing another not another ignoring barrier card but another on play ignoring barrier card because uh, we usually play the um faded rivals goku but um the the this vegeto on play ko card very very good additionally if your op opponent has three more inner uh three more life place one card from your opponent's life to the owner's drop so this card crits a life on your opponent's side of the field just for being played if your opponent has three or more life. So, say if your opponent does have three life, you play this card, you create your opponent's life just cause this effect. Now your opponent's at two life. This card is amazing. This card is amazing just for three energy, super, super good. And then you have a do, and then you do have a triple, uh, triple attack uh, battle card. And say if you're even uh, Z awakened, this card becomes, a triple attack double striker potentially super super good especially if your opponent doesn't have any floodgates but other than that guys i'm pretty sure yep that is it for the art type um very very small engine but super super strong um i think this is going to be a potential uh nats um nats qualifier you know could be could be playing this for nats guys I'm not gonna lie 
um but other than that guys let me know what you guys think about down below what um uh, about vegeto and um yeah next time guys we got more masters content here on the channel um go ahead like subscribe if you haven't and i'll have more masters fusion world and union arena uh coming um later in the future other than that guys catch you later